taste sweeter and better, and have higher antioxidant activity and more phenolic phytonutrients, but let's stack them up head-to-head -head against human cancer cells. Extracts from organically grown strawberries suppress the growth of colon cancer cells and breast cancer cells significantly better than extracts from conventional strawberries. Now, this was dripping strawberries directly onto cancer cells and growing in a lab, but as we saw, there are real-life circumstances in which strawberries come in direct contact with cancerous and precancerous lesions, reversing the progression of esophageal cancer, and so presumably organic strawberries would work even better, but they weren't tested. So although in vitro studies showed higher antioxidant and and higher anti-mutagenic activity, as well as better inhibition of cancer cell proliferation, clinical studies on the impact of eating organic on human disease simply haven't been done. And based on antioxidant phytonutrient levels, organic produce may be considered 20 to 40% healthier, the equivalent of adding one or two servings worth to a five-a-day regimen, but organic produce may be 40% more expensive. So for the same money, you could just buy the extra servings worth of conventional produce. So from a purely nutrients per dollar standpoint, it's not clear that organic foods are any better. But people may buy organic foods to avoid chemicals, not just because they're more nutritious, which brings us to the next question, or are organic foods safer? Which I'll address next.